Well, there it is, Saturday of the long weekend. Um, I got just about pissed off at home, sitting around, vegetating with my sore back, not doing anything much. And uh, I was talking to uh, Blue Dog Prospecting. He's a subscriber of mine. He lives down the river from Grafton. And um, we decided we'd go up and have a look around down Morton, Buckarumbia area for the day, just see what the creeks are like, whether there's any water in the creeks for a bit of prospecting later on. Probably do a bit of um, uh, metal detecting around a couple of the uh, diggings that I know of up there. And I want to have a look around an old cabin site where um, we've been there before, but I haven't really had a good hunt. Just found a couple of nails on the slab just to prove it was this cabin site. So we're going to have a look around up there. He's on his way up from the river, up the river, just sitting over here in South Grafton waiting for him. So when he gets here, I think his wife's coming with him, and uh, we'll head out. So we'll see when we get out there. On our way now, and um, Blake and Cap, Katrina, his wife, caught up to me, and we're just heading out of South Grafton now, up towards Buckarumby, Del Morton area, to um, a bit of a look around, have a look, I'll show them a few different things, and um, yeah, we'll see if we can get ourselves a nugget or a bit of a relic today. Well, I'll get back to you when we get up there. Well, here we are. We've arrived, Daddy going to be a good hunt all the grounds all been cleared by the bushfire so you can see a bit of diggings there and that so we're going to travel over the side of the hill over here there's a bit of a mine so we'll go down there and have a look and see it's um it's a good time for hunting out here there's no lantern or nothing at the moment so a bit of luck we might stagger across something so let's see Well, we went back up to the other spot there where those mines were. We walked around the mountains, up and down and around about. Found a bit of iron and rubbish and didn't really get a good signal at all. So we decided to come out of there. I've come up here to this, um, which I'm pretty sure is an old cabin site. If you have a look down here, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, where there's been a cabin or something built. You see where they've um, built the drain around it. And um, a few rocks have dug back into here. See how it's nice and flat here. I wouldn't mind betting this is where there's been a cabin at one stage. I'm going to have a bit of a look here. See, that's where the creek comes down. It just drove across and down here. And uh, there is a um, big pool of water down the bottom. So, I, um, I think I'll have a bit of a look around here for the rest of the afternoon. Might even go down here in the creek and have a bit of a detector or even a couple of test pans. See if there's anything lying around down here. Uh, so there's a bit of water down here, so I'll do a few test pans and just see if there's anything. Alright, I'll go back up here and get the detector out and see if I can get a few nails, eh? Well, I just um, got down from the car and got a signal here, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll be a a rusty nail or something similar to that. We'll have a listen. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it'll be a rusty nail. And that's what we got, but it's something. Shows there was a building here or something, eh? See how we go from here. Well, we've been out the bush, we've walked the mountains, we've climbed the bloody goats, we beat the goats up and down the hills, we got nothing. So we pull up here at Dow Morton, near the butcher shop here, and I found, first thing I found was a little bit of brass, and 
and then now I've found a little buckle. You know, he mightn't have found any gold, but we found find a bit of stuff here. Okay, Let's see what else we can get before we've got to go home. Well, I got a good signal in. I thought I'd um, dig it anyway, and lo and behold, look here. I've got a beautiful old penny. 1940, no, 1917, and there's the plug from it. And then over here, you can see we've got another one. Very nice, that is. That's cool. I've never seen one of them before. There's heaps more in it. Look, here. Another one here. I can't see what day did it is yet. Uh, it's an old English one, too. I'll clean the date off here a bit. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to see too. I need to wash. 1924, I think. 19... Oh, I don't know. It's a bit hard to see. Looks like 1920 something that one. Let's get the pinpointer out and go around here again. This one has George somewhere. Yeah, King George. 1922. There's another one over here too. You pisser. Look at that. Very nice. So this is a this is a rue penny. A rue penny. 19. Something I think. Uh, 19, 1950, that one. Rue Penny. They'll nice. clean up good. Yeah, beaut. Just see if there's any more here. So that's alright. Didn't do any good on the gold, but we done alright on the pennies. A little coin spill. Yeah, beauty. Well the sun's getting low in the sky. Trina's over there, she looks like she's given up. Old fella's down there, he's still digging. And, and I found something here, but I don't know what it is until I get it out here. Looks like it could be the back of a, a pocket watch. Yeah, it looks like it's part of a, an old pocket watch. Yeah, I'd say that's what it is. I'll have to give it a bit of a clean up when I get home, but it's going to fall apart. Yeah, very interesting. Well, the sun's about to go over the mountains out here at Dale Morton. They're just up here, the old police station across the road there. A couple of old building sites here. Next to the old butcher shop, you can see the shadows are getting long. And uh, I've been out here today with Blue Dog Prospecting. We didn't find any gold, but uh, we dropped back in here to the village when we come back and had a bit of a go around this flat here and found a bit of, a bit of stuff. Um, you can see here by my collection, I've got a bit of a brass thing there. Got a little buckle, back of a pocket watch, I'd say. A 1917 penny, 1922, I think, and a 1950 penny, and a pull tab. So it's been a good day. Got to thank um, the Blue Dog Prospecting for coming out with me for the day. That's the boys and the girls there. They get a bit of gold. I, they do better than me on the gold. But anyway, the sun's going down. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share me around the traps, and I'll appreciate it. Thanks a lot.